<laughs> yep, that's right from the beginning. Yeah. Seven days. <laughs> yeah. About 20 years ago. <laughs> so, uh, the, the uh, daily halacha, there's a prohibition of, we not, well know that there's a prohibition of Ola. What is Ola? First three years, you're not allowed to eat the food of uh, the tree. If you're planting a tree today, you have to wait three years. Now, in, in Israel, it's biblical prohibition. Outside of Israel, is rabbinical prohibition. There's a different opinion about Syria, certain areas in Syria, but in general, it's food for the first three years. We are not allowed to eat or to benefit from this food forever. Now, is this for a transplanted tree only or for one grown from seed? Any tree. They, and if it's a tree, what is the definition of a tree? It's also something that we have to uh, discuss, but in general, a tree is uh, something that does not give food in the first year. Uh, like bananas and uh, and uh, maybe even papaya. So they're not considered trees because they are like bushes, like and and papaya. You might argue that it's a tree because it can grow tall, but it's a uh, usually branches that gave food. They don't give fruits anymore, and uh, it's it doesn't have really have real roots, and it gives fruits. Uh, the first year, so it's not. There's there is a, a, a dispute regarding whether it's considered a tree or not. But in general, a tree is something that it takes time for it to bring food. The thing is, even if you have a tree that is 30 years old, and uh, somehow you have the machinery to uproot it with its soil to move it to another place, and to plant it there, you have to count three years again. Mm. So it's not just the age of the. the it's the, it goes by the age of the planting. Okay. So what so would you do with any fruit that, that it bears during that time? Right, so uh, so we, are, we cannot benefit from them at all. I had this situation with a tree, that uh, a guava tree that we gave food. And uh, I asked my father, what should I do with the food? He said, take, put them in a bag and, sli- and, and, and uh, nicely put them in the garbage. There's nothing else you because can do with them. you're not allowed to give them away. You're not, because if you give them away, you're benefiting from it. And it's like giving a gift to somebody and, and uh, creating a better relationship. What if you gave it to a stranger? So if I would give it to uh, the, the uh, neighbor, uh, there's some kind of benefit. Mm-hmm. And even if a stranger, if I give it to him directly, there is some kind of uh, yeah. uh, mm-hmm. pleasure that it gives you, that you gave something. What if you um, leave it at the room that it's really right? What if you leave it at the room? Like, you leave it. The problem is that I left it for a while, but then it brings out more. A, a, lot of, uh, a lot of flies and bugs, and more, so yeah. you ha- somehow have to deal with it sooner or later. Okay. Anyhow, which tree was so, that? Probably? What kind of tree was that? Guava. My tree was a guava. A guava tree. Guava tree. But by the way, uh, it says that uh, papaya tree has a tall trunk. What? Yeah, tall, trunk? but it doesn't have roots. Like, yeah. If you hang on it, there's a good chance it comes down. Yeah. I see. <laughs> so, <laughs> you I mean, it doesn't go down. It goes right. down. Yeah. It doesn't have a solid. Uh, it doesn't have a solid root. Um. Now the the prohibition of ola, it, interestingly, it's whether it's it's a tree that's growing uh, in the ground, or even it's a, it's in a pot. Uh, this is also, and it, there's no difference whether you planted a tree in the ground, whether you planted seeds, like you asked, or that if you took the branch, which in in he, we call it uh, probably grafting here. Grafting that you take the branch and you stick it into the ground, meaning the tree is, is we have a tree here, with, and, and you put the branch into the ground. So that's you, vegetative propagation. Grafting is where we you take, take a branch things, from yeah. one tree and put it so, on another. So in Hebrew, that's called mavrich. Yeah. Mavrich is, is that you, not necessarily putting two things together, but also putting the, you used to do it right. uh, primarily with uh, vines, with, uh, with grapevines. Was- that they would stick them into the ground and a new tree would grow. Right. I thought it was prohibitive to uh, to graft one species on, onto another. For uh, example, a lemon uh, a, a lemon uh, branch onto an orange tree. Right. So there's a, it's, that's a whole new uh, topic. What is what is the laws of Kilain of uh, of this mix the prohibited mixtures? In some uh, cases it's permitted. In some cases it's not. A uh, clementine. It's a, mm. it's not a natural thing. It's an no. orange it's, it, it, that was mixed together. But uh, if you take something that is completely not from the citrus family, 
example, avocado and, and you put it with a mango together, it create, creating it wouldn't grow and there's <laughs> so uh, th there's an issue there's an issue with with that. But in general, kilaim is also when you take two seeds and you put them in the ground, like two, a seed of tomato and a cucumber, and you plant them together and you create uh, something that a mutation that did not exist. You get a salad before. But you're creating a salad. <laughs> yes. So, but this is a, this is not our topic right now. The, the idea is of Ola, that the three years. Now, if you ask the question, why do we have to wait three years? Why not? If, if somehow the, the tree was quick to grow and, uh, and it grow quickly, why shouldn't we eat the fruits right away? Why do we have to wait three years? So that goes back to the Gemara that speaks about uh, the sin of uh, Adam and Eve, that if she had waited, if they had waited for another three hours, it would have been Shabbos because they're born Friday and a lot of things happen on that day. But if the last three hours of the day, they ate from the food. So for these three hours, we compensated by uh, three, three years. years. And the lighting of the candles of Shabbos also uh, is to atone for that sin. There's other reasons, but also... Uh, now, which of the sages came up with that tradition? What, the Ola? Ola is biblical, as the Torah tells us. No, no sage, no sage came up with it. The Torah says clearly not to do that. So, uh, fruits that are not growing on a tree, rather they grow it in the ground, for example, uh, maybe pineapple. Uh, <coughs> these are not in the, in the, uh, in, under the umbrella of a tree. Uh, tomato, uh, potatoes. The tomatoes, you might say, that grows on a bush. So they're not growing on a tree, rather they grow in the ground. And even bananas, they grow in a bush. The prohibition of Ola does not apply to them. And you're allowed to eat the fruits even the, in the first year. <coughs> there are bushes that the poiskim, the, the codifiers, debated whether the fruits is considered the tree fruit or not. And therefore, if, if there is a question whether it's considered uh, Ola or not, what you're allowed to eat it or not. So, for example, one example that they bring is passion fruit. Passion fruit, there's a debate whether it's considered a tree or, or not. If it's, a it's considered a tree, it's a vine, right? It's an but if it's, vine. It looks like a vine. And, but if it's a tree, then you would have to wait. If it's not a tree, you don't have to wait. I'm just saying, I, in some, in some uh, maybe uh, it's over here it's called passiflora. Passiflora is, is the, it, it's is the Latin the, is name the, for, for passion fruit. Passion fruit. Now maybe there's different species within the the uh, passion fruit itself that grows on a, on a tree. Like, for example, I saw a, a strawberry. Uh, different species of strawberry that are growing on a tree, like wild berries mm -hmm. that are growing on a more of a, a big tree. So there's a, a question: what the what they are. Now, fruits of Ola that grew outside of Eretz Yisrael in the diaspora, we are not allowed to eat them, whether they belong to a Jew or to a Goy. Your neighbor has a tree that just planted and there's fruits, you're not allowed to eat those fruits, if you know. Now, when we go to Publix, we don't know if the fruit, if the fruits were, came from a tree of a year old or a five-year-old tree. We don't know. <coughs> Um, so the only difference is that tables of chutzla, fruits are, that grew outside of Eretz Yisrael, there is a doubt whether they are ola or not, right? Aloch ala Moshe Misinai, there is therefore we follow the tradition that they are not considered ola and we are allowed to eat them. And that's the only reason why we are allowed to go now to the store and buy food, even though we are not sure whether they, they are ola or not. Minutes, heads up, guys. That's good. That's good enough. Okay, let's go to the Tanya.